Ja, we, nog steeds hier backstage. En ja, Jesse D is op het programma. Dat wil zeggen dat The Brew net zijn optreden af heeft gesloten. En de guys van The Brew are here. Still with Harry van ons bluesprogramma in Raalte. Guys, you did a tremendous energetic show. Is it always the energy you put on the stage? Yeah, yeah, we well, we just want to go out there and make sure we give it 110% to uh, you know the audience 120%. because oh, 120%. Are you only giving it 110%? <laughs> oh, for God. I'm doing 130% energy, so let me, let me explain. This is the drummer who is always getting the base of the stuff and keeps us there in line and uh, yeah, and and the guitarist. I saw you <laughs> Uh, you, you have to go tonight because you have another gig in uh, in uh, out of, uh, out of, uh, another place in Holland, so you have it on the run. Yeah, we're on the run. Man. But it is. Where's the energy coming from? I don't know. It's it's. it's the, I think it's it's adrenaline and the fact that those people, you know, the audience, they're, they're there just to listen to the music, you know, and it, and it makes you, it gives you inspiration and it, it gives you energy to just go out there and you know, ugh, give it. Yeah, feed off of the audience. The more you give out, the more you get back, and so it, it works that way for us. So that means as we are standing as audience, as a bunch of idiots, you play like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> No. What you see is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it, mate. Yeah. So, yeah. There's nowhere to hide on stage, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, back to your music. Uh, how do you describe it by yourself? Because I saw on the on internet a lot of description. It's uh, it's Pink Floyd crossed with Led Zeppelin. It's it's it's, it's the Who crossed with with everybody. But if you get a label yourself the music what would it be i don't know it's however anybody anybody wants to label us really yeah. we don't have a specific label because we have so many influences and we mix it all together and we have our own sort of sound as well uh, we can't really put a label on ourselves it's i think what? i think the labels are there for other people to decide and, and they can put us in little boxes if they want we just go out and play the music that inspires us so it is like you say though a big cross section of it's it's a brew <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for explaining your uh, your title. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's the way it is. I mean we try to we try to bring a lot of the old styles of music, so like Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and try and bring it in with a lot of modern. So we're trying to bring that old style to a fresh modern audience. Make the uh, anybody out there here a band really called the Brew? What a fucking great band. I love those guys. So we Tim, your daddy is the oldest in the, in, 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 in the bunch. So you have probably the most influences in time by all kind of music. Um, is there any place for those guys left to put their, their own decisions in? No, I'm forming a solo project. Just a keyboard and me and a bass. It's going to be great. Who's coming up with ideas for the songs? Um, well, it's it basically all of us. One of us will come up with a riff or, you know, some lyrics or something and we all get together, show each other out, you know, and we all put our own little bit of input into it, you know, it's not... I mean, there's not, there's not, one, there's not one person that writes the music, it is very much a brew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no I, I don't know, no, no, I know how this name has gotten by, yeah. You say people can label itself. That means you don't have any restrictions. What you're gonna do in the in the future with music? Like I saw you with a violin, uh, bass, gu playing guitar. Yeah, yeah. Well, What's next? Xylophone? <laughs> I don't know. You know We're actually maybe. gonna use the violin to play on the guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no restrictions. I mean, you're quite right. I mean. Because we don't really put ourselves in a category, we just see as because we're, we're we, a brew. We just because brew, yeah. <laughs> we just like to uh, go wherever the music takes us. Honestly, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, that, but it is true. We we just we just go with wherever we are at that time. So you know, yeah. How do did, did you enjoy the, the 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 blues climate in Holland? Because you've been a couple of times here, and if you compare it to England, yeah. Well, to be honest with you, we don't really England's really not. Not really happening. I think 
Holland, Germany, all those countries, you know, it's a more of a happening scene for this style of music. Where, because we're we're more on the rock side, we're not really so much on the blues side, but there's still a wide audience, you know, out there for us, and uh, I think it's fantastic because the people really do dig the music, and they're, they're very enthusiastic, you know. And whereas in England, it's it's sort of you're stuck in a rut. You, you get so far, and then there's nowhere else to get out, you know. So that's why we decided to get out of our little town, Grimsby, and we have a plan. Do you have a plan in, in, in that the brew is going to be in five years the no, new U2 of the old who or yeah, the living Pink Floyd? It's a very it's a very kind thought that you know, and it'd be great if you you know if it came true. Well, you know, but in the meantime you can get hung up about it because uh, like in Germany things have really gone to another level in Germany after the Rock Palace show, and now you know we're playing to maybe 500 people every night. And um, it can go to your head. I mean, we just do what we do. I mean, we just go out and whether it's 10 people or 10,000, we just rock out. You know, I mean, it's, only, it's only music, you know. You still thank Joe Bonamassa for quitting the yeah, Rock Palace sure. gig. He's our best friend. Yeah, He's our best fan. Joe. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> thanks, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Harry. Can we uh, expect a new album? Because well, success. Yeah, well, we've only just really started touring with the new one for the, like two or three months now because it, it got released in, in January. Okay. But um, we're, we're, we're now, even now, we're writing new material on stage in our jams. We're writing new riffs, you know, and getting together, maybe working on it. And I think probably a new album, probably early next year, some, sometime. Yeah. We're thinking about going but into the studio. Live album, and live album probably at the end of the year with a bit of luck. Long time. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We have album. But the only place that we get chance to rehearse is on the stage. So we, we actually write material live. Yeah, honestly, yeah. We, we write all the new material live. So, Adam, Evan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you got paid for rehearsing tonight. Yeah, it's 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 a hell of a job. Nobody understands how difficult this is. <laughs> the best job in the world, really, isn't it? Well, I hope I can see many rehearsals of you. <laughs> Let's see what brings the future. Thanks, Guy, for having a sparing a minute for us. Hi, we're the Brew, and you're listening to Blues Moose Radio. Come out. <laughs> yeah, the sound